All right, how's it going guys, Diamond here. And today I'm gonna explain to you guys how to set up and create your very own custom mobs. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh great, another video where you can just add some armor to a zombie, give them some ability like speed or anything like that and just make them more OP. Well, this isn't it exactly. What I'm basically stating is you can create your own custom mob. For example, this one. It is a flying mob that can sting you. This one has no AI, of course, but it works at the end of the day. It does its job. It's an example. You can create more mobs with animation such as attack, kill, and anything you want. And you could add this to any type of server you have. Sky Wars, Bed Wars, you can add this to your survival server and make them spawn naturally. It's really up to you how you play out with this at the end of the day. I'm gonna teach you guys how to set up, how to create your mobs, how to add them into the game, and just make sure you have everything at the end of the day working. Let me point out, I'm not explaining how to add, how to create it one by one. Overall, this is gonna be a very basic tutorial. If you guys want something more in-depth and really detailed, make sure to put your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'll make sure to read all of them, but other than that, let's get right into this video, shall we? All right, to begin this, I'm gonna explain exactly what you're gonna need to start all this. There are two simple plugins. I mainly use three for other reasons, but you can just use two of them. It's not necessary the third one. But overall, it is just Model Engine, which does a lot of the work, and Mythic Mobs that does more of the natural spawning and AI-wise. So overall, it's really straightforward. As you can see, he's flapping his wings and doing it naturally. It's pretty easy like that. I do have a second example as well. These are, of course, mobs that are going to be upcoming for the server that I'm creating with the team. So there's always a link to the Discord. But whoever joins the Discord, again, please don't ask plug-in questions. This Discord is not mine. I'm just helping developing it, okay? But overall, back into the main topic. As you can see right here, it is a basic... This one has no AI, of course, but it's a basic mob that has collision. It does take damage, so you can see it turn red as well and have the hearts. This one's only two hits, but this one will actually have big death animation because it... I added to it. So as you can see right there, it dies and it goes into the ground. That's how I wanted the death animation. Overall, the experience is flawless. You can add these into your server with no problem at all and just have them for your players to enjoy and actually see something more unique. Instead of just, again, another zombie with some diamond armor with a diamond sword that's gonna do the same thing as every other server. You can create your own models. Really, again, the sky is the limit on what you can do. So let's begin the process of how to create your models. Before we do continue with this video, I do want to point out that this video is sponsored by Revive Note. If you guys want to check them out in the description down below with the promo code DIAMOND in all caps, you can get up to 20% off your very first server today. You can either start your own server or just play with friends. It's really up to you. And with full Discord support and premium servers at a budget price, you'll love them. And thanks to them, I'm going to be streaming this Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern time. If you guys want to join in, I'm going to be I'm going to be exploring this topic a little bit more and always answering questions that you guys may not know about. So to make sure to check in and I'll see you there. So as you can see right here, I have the model you just saw in game. It's very straightforward. I have the full body right here as well. So they're all in folders and it's a pretty straightforward. He's in his T pose, so it looks kind of weird. But once you add their animation, it is amazing how it all works together. This is Blockbench. I'm using a, a project file. I'm using a no UV project file with bedrock models. And I know that sounds weird. Why are you using bedrock to create creatures for a Java game? To be frank with you, I really don't know. I'm just learning this process and I'm teaching you as much as I can at the end of the day. So as you can see here, in order to make this all work, you would need to create your own model in Blockbench Set it up so you have a idle, a walk, attack, and death. The just basic. You can add falling and anything within that as well. But once you add all of it together, you can see that this one actually has some animations. It's idle animation. It's walking animation. Which does look a bit bugged, but that is how it's supposed to be. And then it's attack animation, so I would stop this one. And of course, it's death animation, which just dies at the end. Like I said, it's really easy. If you guys really want a full detailed video on how to create one of these, I don't know, let's go for like, oh, I don't have a number. You guys create it as you want. But overall, what you would need is create your model and then create another folder called Hitbox. And with that, you're gonna have to create another box called Hitbox. This would this basically determine of where you hit the mob. In this case, the Hitbox is smaller. In 
other cases you want to make it bigger this is because i was rescaling to test out some stuff don't worry about that i'm completely wrong here but you want to make sure the box fully fits the character once you have that you just save it as a regular project and that's it you don't have to do any fancy coding all you have to do is create your model animate it texture it and that's it it's really easy like that so now that we're actually in the plugins folder i have both of the plugins loaded up ready and these are the default configurations it's gonna look messy but that's perfectly fine all we're really gonna have to look into is model engine this is where a lot of stuff happens what you want to do is go into the blueprints folder and upload the model you just made into there it's really that easy once you're done you can go ahead and hop back in game and go ahead and do meg reload models and as you can see right there i just floated one model and it's in the game already it's really that easy there are a few more steps of course like you have to hook it up to mythic mobs and you have to add the resource pack i'm going to teach you guys how to add to the resource pack which is pretty easy which is just by going to the model engine going into resource pack and then getting a copy of this asset go ahead and download that and of course you do need to create a resource pack honestly it's just a pack.mc meta you can get this from any resource pack you can create your own it's not difficult a google search will literally tell you what to do i'm actually not going to go for that because this is more of a basic but all you have to do is grab the folder that you just saved upload it into the resource pack and then make sure you're using it going back into the plugins you're going to go into plugins mythic mobs and then you will go into mobs I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new one. I'm gonna con, I have a default configuration for it. So I created one called spawn.yml, which is its name. And of course you can set this up to however you want to, but all we're really gonna focus on this is the skills. And what you need to do is dash model in bracket and then put mid your model name and false and h equals true at self and then on spawn. And of course save this configuration, make sure you have the name correctly, go back in game. And if every if you did every single step correctly, you should have a working model. So I'm gonna go ahead and do mm reload mm egg get on, and we have it already in game with the animations. May I point out, it's really straightforward. Concept Works Model Engine does a lot of the backend for you. You don't have to worry about adding the animations to certain projects as long as you have the basics of walk, idle, attack, death. It's all in for you right there. This didn't take too long. This was a very quick process and i will actually take that back thank you very much and as you can see right here if i kill them it should still have the death animation they do have an attack animation and i don't think i set mine up to four attack just yet oh never mind I'm just one attacking but like i said this is a very straightforward video of how it works how you can set it up and how you can basically just make your server unique with its own style the pros is you can add custom mobs like this the cons is your your player base has to use a resource pack that you can force them to use it upon join other than that it's not a problem i don't find it a problem at the end of the day it's really what you want to do do you want to make your server more unique or do you want to be another copy but there you have it guys that was a very straightforward video of course i would love to explain more but that would take a very long time and the process of teaching this requires a much bigger video Overall, I just hope you guys take some knowledge from this video and how to set it up. It's a very straightforward process. And overall, I just really want to see what you guys can make out of it. There's a large community growing for this type of things already. And I would love if you guys could join. I know some people may say, well, what's the point of doing this? If we're all just going to be copying what your idea of creating custom mobs, wouldn't that mean everyone's just copying each other? In some ways, some people may think it is copying, but no, you're going to be putting your own ideas into paper and making it happen overall you guys should totally check out the plugin i'm gonna leave both in the description down below if you guys want to check out any more i'm gonna be putting a lot more videos but other than that i'm diamond hope you guys had a good one and i'll catch you guys next time cheers